One interesting fact about these lights, you know, these is they're never where you want them to be. <laughs> they never shine on what you need to see. Just they go right in, right in your eyes. That's they're really good at that. change the parking brake on it so we're going to take the wheels and tires off we're going to take the uh, brake assemblies apart and put some new brakes in there on the e-brake and make it so it's a little safer <laughs> it's okay just pretend like you didn't see that <laughs> Ooh. It's like way worse than we first so started. If you're watching it. this, eventually you're gonna have to change out of your universal joints on your drive shaft because they're a little they're a little loose. Not a big deal right now, but I imagine you put another few hundred miles on it, it's gonna maybe start growling on you. Handy dandy. Little wrench, take a rougher tool. And fancy people get air ratchets, but maybe someday we'll get fancy like that. I don't know. It'd be cool. We'd be like, zzzm, zzzm, like NASCAR. <laughs> Look at that. Big crusty. She bit. She's crunchy. She crunchy. Mm -hmm. What we gotta do is this has gotta come off, and then the brake shoes are in behind it. It's an interesting setup. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta take the calipers out of the way, and then we'll slide the hub out, and then we'll put the new shoes in, slide the hub back on. And these brakes are, I mean, they're barely there, you know, they're, they need changed, you know, they, they definitely need some work with them. <laughs> Bunch of snap on stuff. Yeah, where's that snap on truck when you need them? There's a, a rubber mallet over there somewhere. because you don't want to pull on your brake lines so what you, I'll normally do is either if you can't get them to just stick in here zip tie them bad boys up fortunately on these Corvettes you can just lay them in there if you're lucky this isn't rusted stuck but nine times out of ten you're just not lucky and you gotta you gotta bring the thunder on them and knock them off this one looks like it's gonna just come off look at that this is a brake within a brake. So you got your disc brake on the outside and then built within inside the hub is another brake, like an old school brake, like a shoe brake set up. Whoa, is it actually? Yep, so these right here, when you pull the emergency cable, do -do -do -do, come out like that and they contact this surface and it puts the brakes on.
get this cleaned up so we can see what we're working with here. Just gonna make sure everything's actually up properly. It's already set. It ain't good. Did they move? Oh. <laughs> Dang. Phil, what are you doing, man? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> He's got the decibel master going on. <laughs> the bungee tie exhaust strap. <laughs> That's ingenuity, buddy. Man, one bump, though, and those things are hitting the ground. So just doing a little inspection, one thing we noticed that this brake is not even hooked up so it looks like this popped off so we need to get this back re-engaged. Somehow, go, go home, there you go. And you still have your hands? Yeah. That's because I'm a man. Tight like a tiger. Okay, put it off. I don't know. Oh, come on, you piece of junk. Not the car, the tool. The tool is a real, a real loser. <laughs> Are you making sure you're watching it because Phillip's watching it? <laughs> Woo, okay. That is a winner. Chicken dinner. All right, so we got them adjusted. They're sitting good. We're gonna put the brake back together and uh, we'll put it on the ground and we'll just, we'll try it out on the ground just to make sure everything's good. But uh, yeah, that's an easy fix. Why am I the one working? Copper's working. Copper. Working, right. well, he didn't even care to come over here. Sometimes when you're doing this, you gotta get the mouth just right. With the right face, the tongue right in the lip, and you just the bolts just slide right in. Where, where's the nuts? Give me a nut. <laughs> yes. What if that's the one with the key on it and it's like the first one I handed you? <laughs> Hub centric. These are neat. It's kind of goobery. Where do you live where you need a lock and a key nut? Do you see? Oh. <laughs> Someone breaks the lock and they're like, oh you ever yeah. Seen, uh, Don't be a menace to society, or menace to society. I thought it was like Dennis the Menace or something. Yeah, I mean, they, no, it's a movie. <laughs> Uh, they catch them slipping, and then you roll up on a homie in the drive-thru, gun to the head, pull over in the parking lot, take the wheels off for me, throw them in the back of my car. Dang. That's what happens. I don't think anybody would do that to Camaro. I think you're safe with those wheels. <laughs> They're like scarred for life. They've been through the ringer with plastic. Those, those are the top of the wheels and tires that, you know, hillbillies sell on top of their trailer houses to keep the shingles from blowing that's off. It, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Have like 300,000 miles on them. That they do. Memphis roads. They yeah, do. and like in Truman roads. No joke. That car was built pretty good, if you think about it. Like as good as it's sitting right now. I wonder if like the Corvette would last that long in those conditions. Do you think the Camaro's like built for that kind of stuff? Oh yeah, she's solid. She's hefty. You know, she's like a big girl. <laughs> big girl take a lot of abuse. 600 oh, pound life girl. I squished the light between the tire. Oh.
Man, that lot's really putting in the work, though. Saved it. Will you hit that brake? Oh, one yeah. One more time. I'm going to test on it one more time. Oh. Solid. 